Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. Today we will convert an existing LED bulb into an automatic light which will turn on at darkness and will switch off at daytime automatically. Subscribe to my channel for getting new videos like this. Also press bell icon so you will never miss any videos from my channel. This project works with 230 volt and please take all precautions while working on it. We are converting this 17 watt Philips LED bulb into automatic LED bulb. While opening the diffuser it became faded. I have given the video link in the description box. I have already opened it but I did not disconnect the LED panel from the PCB. They have even glued the PCB in the outer shell. We have to be more careful while dismantling that. You can see they have used minimal wires inside the LED bulb. This is the circuit diagram for sensing the darkness and daytime. We are using LDR for this purpose. You can see a 470 microfarad capacitor connected at the base of BC547 through 3.3K resistor. This is used for delay purpose. At borderline of the day and night, the LED bulb will flicker. In order to avoid that, we are using this capacitor. If you want more delay, then use a 1000 microfarad capacitor. 470 microfarad capacitor is an ideal value. I have assembled the circuit and do not use any PCB. We have to make it very compact. So I have soldered everything directly to the pins. For powering the LDR sensing circuit, we are using transformerless power supply. I have already made a video on it and I will give that video link in the description box. Current consumption of this circuit is very very low. I have assembled the transformerless power supply and give extra precaution while assembling this circuit because this is using 230 volt. This we will connect to this LDR sensing circuit. This 12 volt relay is used for switching the LED bulb on and off. One advantage of this circuit is we are not touching the circuit of the LED bulb. You can even fix the circuit diagram outside so that it will be more general. Use proper sleeves or heat shrink tube wherever possible to avoid short circuit in this module. Now it is time for testing the circuit. This is power supply circuit. This is relay and this is light sensing circuit and this is LED driver and panel. This is the LDR and I will keep it away from the LED panel for avoiding the feedback switching. I am using the remote controlled extension box for powering the 230 volt to this circuit. The video link I have given in the description box for your reference. I will switch on the power to the extension box. Now you can see the green LED is on and the LED bulb is still off because of the studio light. I will switch off the studio light and please watch it carefully. The LED bulb is now on and you can see the flickering because of the feedback from the LED bulb to the LDR. I will cover the LDR with a mobile case and you can see the flickering has stopped and now I will switch on the studio light. Now after the delay the LED becomes off. Our circuit is working perfectly fine. We need to pack everything inside this LED bulb case. The important thing is the case is made up of aluminium. In operation the LED base will create heat and the heat will transfer to the air inside the LED case. And from air it will transfer to the case which is made up of aluminium and then dissipated to outside. So first our circuit need to be insulated using insulation tape and for protecting from heat we will be using this heat resistant tape. The link for buying is in the description box. If you get it locally it will be more cheap. The same heat resistant tape is used in the battery terminals. The circuit and relay need to be perfectly and thoroughly insulated because this is using 230 volt.
The LDR terminals also need to be insulated perfectly and we will tape the LDR upwards so that the light from the LED bulb will not fall in the LDR. We can do that after completing our packaging process. And now final testing time and I am using my torch to light up the surrounding region of LED bulb. If you have any suggestions please comment on this video. Please like and share this video among your friends. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.